The Black Business Council has appealed to President Jacob Zuma not to heed the call to resign and have asked him to stay until the end of his term. In recent times, calls have been made by various influential voices within the ANC for the president to either resign or for new leadership of the organization to be elected. The president has faced a range of scandals, including accusations that he may have caused the ANC electoral losses in the local government elections. Zuma has also been accused of being under the influence of the Gupta family. I'm joined by the president of Black Business Council, Mr. Ndabansele, to explain this position and other matters that they raised with the president when they met him this past weekend. Mr. Ndabansele, pleasure to have you with us, uh, and well, we appreciate Thank you, Tim. Well, well, I am sure you, were you baffled by the reaction to the news that Black Business Council feels strongly that the president should stay on because other people said, thought, you know, that it was going against the popular sentiment of the moment. Yeah. I'm going to give a background. I yeah. mean, the, the meeting with the president was about three things. Uh, the first one was the recapitalization of the NEF. Mm -hmm. uh, and the problem there was that uh, the president approved a recapitalization of two billion, a billion uh, per annum. And uh, one of uh, the president ministers has kept that money. So it was of great concern to us uh, that... One that of the ministers has not made that money available? Uh, yes, to the NEF. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So as Black Business Council, because the NEF was started by a, a, a black business in Mopane uh, some time ago yeah. to fund black business. Uh, and uh, everybody uh, who tried to be a businessman, it, the access to funding is tough. So. That's a key thing that we went to see the president for. And then the second one was the NEF must not be incorporated to ITC uh, because uh, ITC operates in, uh, uh, in, in different uh, uh, policies and they, they fund everybody. The second point was the SME fund that uh, was created by Big White Business, uh, which is, uh, uh, was led by Brian Joffe, uh, and uh, the Discovery CEO and Jam Mabuza. Now, uh, big white business, when they, 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 they formed that fund, it was to try and create entrepreneurs, but they consumed that by themselves. And then when they announced the fund, uh, we invited a black business. And then the fund uh, came from the top uh, 40 JSC listed company, a billion rents. And then the government was going to match them with a plain rent. Now, the perception there is that this is white fund. Now, uh, we wanted to clarify to the president that uh, the JSC top 20 uh, is not a white fund. PIC is there, we are also there. So, the perception must be corrected because uh, uh, we are for transformation uh, in the country. And these are matters that you understand as business. That's number one. Number two, we wanted to be represented in that board as Black Business Council so that we can be able to allocate black fund managers. Uh, and uh, that was the second point. Uh, the third point was the FICA uh, regulation, which wanted to tell him that we going to object formally for him to sign uh, uh, that, that into law. And then the sideline was that just before, uh, th this meeting was supposed to take place uh, before the president went to China and all that. But during that po uh, period, and then uh, I received a letter from Sipo Pichan. And the letter was, uh, as a, a chairman of Anglo Gold and also his CEO. And in that letter, he was inviting uh, uh, business leadership and Anglo uh, Gold is affiliated to business leadership and inviting Busa and Black uh, Business Council uh, as business uh, to uh, meet and then mobilize uh, for the regime change. Uh, when he called me, I was on leave, and uh, I, I said my office, they must uh, ask him to come and tell us uh, in our, uh, we've got office bearers, which he came on Thursday before the 12th. 
So he came and he told us that uh, they want to mobilize uh, to, uh, for the regime change and, and move the president. Uh, they're going to involve uh, uh, bishops, uh, the churches and all that. And uh, suppose we're meeting uh, today, the 13th. Uh, yeah. And uh, we, he'd like us to join him in that meeting. Now, prior to that, we went, as BBC, went to the ANC Chile House, and uh, we were talking about the president uh, position and also the Guptas. Long story short, the ANC told us, Quete, that their position is that uh, they're not going to move the president. Uh, there's some historical things that happened. He said they, 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 they recalled Peggy uh, some time back, and then uh, there was a formation of a political organization. And then they disciplined Malima. There was, a, uh, again, another break. So they cannot keep on uh, uh, doing this. So they've changed the strategy. We accepted their position uh, as Black Business Council. Then uh, when uh, Sipo was with us, we told him our position, that uh, we've been to the ANC, and they, uh, they gave us uh, their position, and as Black Business Council, we accept that position uh, for various reasons. Uh, one of the reasons uh, that we also have was uh, this, this uh, idea of keeping recalling president. Uh, it doesn't set good for other presidents that are going to come on board. The second one we said well, to us... Let me just interrupt you there. <clears throat> a couple of things. Firstly, you say there's a minister who's refusing with the money. Who, which minister is that? Uh, th that minister, I'm going to write to him, uh, and then I'm going to inform you. Uh, uh, I'm not going to make it public at this point in time. But we, I has can kept, we, we has kept the money uh, for, t uh, for two years. Now, that's a big problem uh, okay. to us. Well, I, and I can assume that uh, that minister is responsible for finances. And, no, no, he, he's not uh, uh, Minister Pravin. Okay, yeah. all right, so pro or probably economic planning. Yeah, you can make your assumption. All right, right. Or, or DTI, okay. or any one of, okay. of the two, I suspect. <laughs> okay. Be that as it may, let's come back to the point that made the news, that uh, the Black Business Council is now appealing to the president to stay on. Is that, was it the message let, to let, him? Let, let me put the context correctly. Yeah. We went to the president with these three matters, yes. and then we informed him that this is what's going to happen. And then we, as PPC, uh, we would like him to finish his term. Yes. We're not appealing to him to finish his term. Okay. We told him that that's our position, that he must finish his term. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, and of course, he... he we, we discuss it and, and, and focus on, a, on the matters on the, that were yeah, on the agenda. Yeah, and, and uh, yeah, another thing that I also wanted to, I want to highlight to you, we also look at the coups that he did, uh, Zuma, mm. during his tenure, for us as Black Business Council. Uh, when we wanted to uplift SMEs, uh, we asked him to create that Ministry of SMEs, and he did it. Uh, the second most uh, important point, uh, uh, it was, Black industrialists, uh, it's us that went to him and say, we need to create black industrialists without any uh, apology. Because, you know, we in this uh, new South Africa, uh, at times when you talk about black people, they, 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 there's some connotation. Mm. But the problem is that black people are the ones that must uh, get into a control stream. So, and the third one uh, is a BRICS issue where we wanted to be rep represented in the British Business Council. Uh, and it's done those things, and those are good things. Uh, we also know about the public stories of the other thing. Yeah, yeah. And we felt comfortable uh, that uh, let's uh, proceed because one now radical uh, economic change. Mm. Uh, and and, and, and uh, uh, those are our part of our reasoning that we, we believe uh, that uh, the president must stay. Uh, until uh, his you, you used the word regime change earlier on when referring to your meeting with uh, Sipo Pichana. Why do you think it's regime change? What what he wants to see happen? The the, the term regime change was used. Uh, that is English, and then it, again he said uh, the president uh, must uh, must go before the term ends. Mm. What's your view of his approach to you? What's your view of him and the call he's making? 
uh, Sipopi Jana, that is. We disagree with him. Yep. That's our view. Yep. And we told him yes. that we disagree with him. Yep. And we gave him the reasons uh, about that. And uh, again, there's a, there's a big difference between uh, ideology of white big business and, uh, and, and black business in the country. Sure. Must accept it. Like we said to him, which we had is he wearing? Yeah. And uh, uh, he said he's, he's wearing an Anglo gold hat, but he's affiliated to peace leadership. So we explain certain things that uh, happens sure. like uh, uh, peace leadership, uh, the very same thing of SMEs, they didn't invite well, us. Well, if I understand you correctly, you, to your minds as the Black Business Council, you suspect that uh, those views that he expressed are the views of white Business, if a white big business is, is, is that is that a fact? Is that what you suspect? It is afflated. Uh, it can be his ideologies, but yeah. uh, from uh, business talking with one voice, uh, he's afflated to business leadership South Africa. Okay, let me talk another point. Um, that of FICA, you say the president should not sign that into law. Yeah. Why? Because there's pressure that actually he should, because it will help combat corruption and crime, but, but you are opposed to that, why? Tim, that's something that we're going to put it in writing. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm not going to uh, discuss it here, because we told him, and then our legal team and our professionals are going to submit to the president yes. and to other companies. you can give me an outline, because uh, uh, you know, so I'll tell you, I've read the commentary on the on, uh, response to this, right, to the move of Black Business Council. Already other commentators are suggesting that you, you know, the, the, you, probably some members are scared that there's going to be information that comes out that they may have benefited corruptly or that there are corrupt relationships between the state and certain business people. Yeah, look, Tim, we all condemn corruptions, uh, uh, corruption. Uh, and uh, it, it's not about corruption, per se. And uh, I'll, I'll also like to say to you, uh, we detest to assume corruption is, uh, uh, is involved with black people. Uh, that's what the perception that is created, like the term tender entrepreneurs. Uh, we called uh, Blade Zamande and we said, uh, black business people are called tender entrepreneurs. And it's wrong because everybody tenders, Standard Bank tenders, Netco tenders and all that. So this is not about being scared of uh, uh, certain people or, or black people that are, are going to uh, have uh, what cases against them of corruption. No, no. If, if uh, there's somebody that has done something that's corrupt, uh, we should report that. Uh, it's not about that. Uh, there's something that uh, at this point in time I cannot uh, put it private to you, but as soon as it's gone to the president and another department within the president, a uh, president, because we ask him that where does this thing fall? Mm. Uh, you know, yeah, we thought uh, we have ignorance, so uh, we thought this thing come from the national security. Uh, the, the, it was a, a brood there. Uh, so now we know exactly where to send our letter of objection, and I think we'll talk about uh, that after okay. the deal is done. Well, let, let's talk to you as soon as we've uh, sent the letters through, right? Great. Two Absolutely. points you yes. said you'll yes. talk to me about. Yes. And uh, not now. The, the minister, minister yeah. as well as the reasons why you are opposed to the FICA amendment bill. Yes. Is that all right? Yes. How soon is that? Uh, very soon. I mean, the minister, I want to write to him. Yeah. Uh, before this weekend, and, yeah. and tell him uh, about this thing. So we, we talk then, when, uh, next week, uh, or we talk in two After I've written to him, because yeah, yeah. he saw our approach is not to gossip. Sure. And it's also not to put emotions. No, no problem. In fact, I'll talk to him, and I'll call you. In two weeks? Two weeks is too long. Maybe oh. before two weeks. Oh, well, in a week's time. <laughs> yeah. I welcome that. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Tim.